Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so for today's vlog, we will be fixing one of the new system on board, which is the scrubber. We are having this IRV03 nozzle level 3 valve feedback alarm. So we need to check what is wrong with this valve. Why is it that even if it's reaching the 40% set point, it is still not opening. So come and join me in this new learning. So our vessel is fitted with this so-called scrubber or the exhaust gas cleaning system in which we use it to remove particulate matter and harmful components such as sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide from the exhaust gases generated as a result of combustion processes in marine engine to implement pollution control. This scrubbing system has been developed and employed to treat the exhaust gases from the engines, auxiliary engines, boilers, to ensure that no damage is done to human life and the environment by the toxic chemicals. So this system was implemented in accordance to the international regulation of the sulfur emission reduction which was implemented last January 2020. So for those who are new to this system, I hope that I was able to give you the basic principle of our scrubber. So let's go back to our trouble and the first thing I did is to go to the control panel and check what controls this valve. So of course, we need to consult our wiring diagram and good thing that, that the wiring diagram is already on the cabinet. So check it the wiring diagram i focus on the onto this specific valve and looking at the wiring diagram we have two separate pages which will be for the indication which are these limit switches or the micro switches which are connected onto one of the input output modules onto our controller and this uh, module is the 1JX3 module and to check onto this one this is the module which is now indicating that it is actually in closed position this IJX3 module and as you can see onto the number 5 the LED is lit it means it is now in closed position which is also the indication that you will be seeing onto our wiring diagram this number five irv03 it is in closed position so if it will go onto the number six then it will give an open indication onto our control panel so the then moving forward there is this solenoid valve which will be open once there is a 24 volts supplied onto it and this is connected to the terminal x2.3 and these are the cables connected onto our solenoid and to check this irv03 will open once you have the supplied 24 volts so checking out to our cable these are going to group of release which is specifically for this valve is this one ke3 from this terminal block this goes to this one ke3 and this is the relay and now we are going to test our system and see if this one will give an indication that it actually supplies 24 volts onto our valve so i connected our multimeter across these terminals so that we can also measure if we are having 24 volts once we give an open command onto our control panel so the second engineer is in control panel and as you can see there is an indication onto our relay block and it's not giving 24 volts and of course since it's not giving 24 volts onto our module it will stay in closed position which is in number 5 led onto 1 jx3 module 
So it means that the valve did not move at all. In this situation, we already know where the problem is coming. So we need to replace that small relay and see what will happen next. To replace it, we just need to push this locking mechanism and it will pop out. So let's check if we have this spare and replace this defective one. So luckily, when I checked onto our boxes, I found one spare specifically for this one. And we just need to install the replacement and try it again if our valve will respond after replacing this relay. Just make sure that you have the proper orientation of this relay so that you will not bend the pin onto this one and then i called back the second engineer and test it again in this setup i still connected our multimeter and as you can see there is indication and we already have the 24 volts so now while we're having the 24 volts we will check the module if the number 5 led will be off and it will transfer to the number 6 and as you can see, it is now onto number 6 and it means it is now in open position. After that, I proceeded to the valve itself. So for your familiarization, we just need to open this cover and check the micro switches inside to see if they are still in good condition. So we need to investigate why this one is happening. So after opening, I check everything. I check the condition of the micro switches. And for those who are not familiar with the setup, every time the controller will give an open command, there will be an activation of 24 volts for the solenoid coil. And this solenoid coil will actually open the air system that will open the mechanical valve. And then this will turn. And once it turns into open position, our micro switches will determine if it is in open position or in closed position with this rotary switch and so after adjusting it properly i know now for sure that this will give the proper indication and once this solenoid will be supplied with 24 volts our mechanical valve will move either in open or closed position depending on the command from our control panel. Warning, this is a loud sound. Second engineer like this. Yes, leg, come in. Yeah, you can try opening now. Okay. Now leg, stopping open. Okay, leg, now open. The valve is open. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and thank you very much for supporting this channel and this is your Lucky Jake and see you.